everyone, it's the Jose 32 here, back again. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Throat's a little dry. Anyway, I was debating whether or not I would do any videos today, and then I said, ah, screw it. It is Christmas, but I will do some videos. I am going to do a couple of tricks. Now, just so you know, I did not get anything magic or card related for Christmas because my parents don't really know about that stuff and if they did, they would totally freak out if they knew I had 400 decks of playing cards they'd be like why the hell do you need 400 decks of playing cards? all you need is one and that's a complete waste of money and they would just not be happy when pressed at all even if I was collecting them they'd still say as a waste of money they do complain time to time when I get packages in the mail saying that I'm wasting money but they don't know exactly what it is that's in the packages my mom does know that there's magic stuff doesn't know exactly what it is but she knows that because some of the packages say you know, magic this or magic that anyway what I did get was some work pants for work because my other ones are getting old I got a gift card to Future Soft, which is like Best Buy in Canada. We also have Best Buy, it's owned by the same people actually. And I got that from my sister, it's only 30 bucks. And that was because she called me and asked what I wanted. I didn't really know. I said, hey, how about a tablet? And she said, ha, yeah, right. She sent me a gift card for $30 and it was wrapped in a flyer from Future Soft with tablets on it, and, and it's zero, pick one. And I'm like, yeah, all right, well, <laughs> thanks anyway. Um, but I don't think I'm gonna get a tablet that too expensive, and I don't really need one. I'll just have to find something else to spend the $30 on. I also got cash from my parents, 80 somewhat dollars I think it was, which is good. It helps pay for some of these decks I've been getting lately. And I also got chocolates <laughs> and what else did I get I got a coffee mug from my brother-in-law that he picked up while he was serving in Afghanistan recently it's a from I forget what it's called but it's Anyways, it's from a place, a Hard Rock Cafe or something like that. One of those fancy places that they had set up in Afghanistan. And well, anyways, ah, yes, I was right. Hard Rock Cafe, Afghanistan for my brother-in-law who is serving there. He's in the Air Force or whatever it is. Computer-related stuff that he does. Pretty cool. He also bought some stuff. For my mom and dad from there. As well, so. Pretty cool. That's kind of what I got. I didn't get that much. But I don't get it. It's pretty good. Anyways, this first trick is called... It's called Prediction Recall 101. I've seen it before and I saw it again. Mahir, the demon, did it. Check out his channel, it's pretty cool. And it's kind of my version on it. I'll have the deck shuffled. These are pretty cool cards, by the way. Fulton clip joints, I recommend you pick them up. To mm, pull out a card, it's going to be a prediction. Let's say, let's say the Queen of Clubs. I am going to say that you are going to land on the Queen of Clubs. That's my prediction. And I'm going to place it back in the pack. Sorry if I'm off camera there, I didn't realize. I'm going to place this back in the pack. Just like 
like so. Get it back a few cuts. And like I said, this is my variation. down cards face up until you say stop keep in mind I predicted you to land on the queen of clubs all right Just keep dealing your cards out until you say stop and let's say they say stop right here I take this card I'm going to out jog it and I'm going to continue dealing cards Face up, still no queen of clubs, no queen of clubs in here. There's a king of clubs and no queen. Again, no queen of clubs, the queen of diamonds is in there. And there's a queen of spades. No queen of clubs. If I just take these cards, spread them out, you see there's one card face down, that's the card that you told me to stop at, and it is the queen of clubs. Now, how does this trick work? It's pretty cool. I'll show you a couple of different ways of doing it. Alright. So I will use the Queen of Clubs. The way Meher Demon did it is he took the Queen of Clubs and placed it face down, second from the top in a face up pack, I guess you could say. Basically, he set it up so it is face up, second from the bottom. And then, you know, you can do some false cuts if you want. Just to kind of mix it up a bit, I recommend it anyways. I don't think he did it. And then what he did is he simply dealt cards face up. Like this. Actually, my bad. What he did was he named a card, a prediction card, he said, okay, I'm going to predict that you're going to land on the Queen of Clubs. He didn't actually saw it, or anything like that. And he started dealing on cards like this until the spectator says, stop, just like I did. And then when the spectator says, stop, he takes the card, which is not the Queen of Clubs, and he out it. Then he flips the deck face up. There's the Queen of Clubs. By the way, he takes these two cards as a double, sets them down, and starts dealing cards one by one, just like this. And then he spreads out some cards, shows you there's no queen of clubs, continues doing that, and sets down the rest. Now he takes the cards with this one out jogged, or side jogged, I should say, spreads them out, and pulls out the one face down card, which happens to be his predicted selection. The other card, as you can see, is still here, but the spectator will not see it unless you flash it like I did. My version, I think, is slightly better because you actually saw the prediction card and you place it back into it. Well, for starters, you shuffle the cards. You can have the spectator shuffle the cards. That way they know there's no setup or anything like that. There's no way you can, I guess, be forcing the card on them. And then you can pull out a card as your prediction, doesn't matter what it is, you can see Ace of Clubs. You can even just randomly have a card selected, or pull out a card and say this is the card you're going to land on. That one's not a very good choice though, because it's two identical tokens. And then there's a couple of things you, you can do. For one, you can, what you can do is while you're spreading the cards out like this, and you pull the card out, you put it to the face of the pack, just like that, so um, go through the cards, say you're going to predict the Ace of Clubs, bring it to the face, and then what you do is a Browley Reversal. This is not what I did though. And now it is face up on the bottom of the pack. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. And then what you just do is a double undercut. And automatically, the card is second from the bottom. And then you can do some false cuts if you like. 
and then you just proceed flipping the cards up and doing everything else like I did before. That's one way you can do it. The way I did it was I pulled out my card. I placed it into the pack. I pushed up like this so that I could catch a break above it. Actually, no. You take the Ace of Clubs or whatever card you're predicting, push it into the pack, and you push up on it so that you can catch a break underneath it. Just like that. And then what you do is you table cut it so it's at the bottom of the pack. Then what I did was a pinky pull down to catch a break underneath or above the ace. So I cut the cards into my other hand. As I did this, I flipped my face up, dropped the ace right there, and then quickly flipped this back over and flipped this one on top. That automatically puts the ace of clubs on the bottom. Okay, so I'll show you again. Take the card, put it into the pack, and as you push in, you pull up, just like this, so you catch a break. Then you just table cut it to the bottom, do a pinky pull down or anything else to catch a break just above that ace of spades or whatever card it is that you're using, ace of club soy or whatever card that you're using, and turn that into a fun break, swing cut half of these cards, uh, try that again, so you have your fun break, swing cut half of the cards into this hand, flip them face up, drop the ace of clubs on there very quickly and flip it back over, and ace of clubs automatically is on the bottom. So again, what it looks like in real time. So you take the card, place it into the pack. That's my break here. Just like that, more or less. And it's over there. Okay? Yeah, one more time. like a pretty fancy cut but it's nothing that fancy and then all you do is a double undercut with the top card to the bottom and automatically it's second from the bottom all you have to do really is you can either set up a card face up second from the bottom and name that card as a prediction or have a card selected or pull out a card like I did before and control it so that it's face up second from the bottom it's not that hard of a trick, I think. And then you just proceed with what I did before, flipping the cards like this and whatnot. Alright? So that's a pretty cool trick. Prediction Recall 101, whatever you want to call it. Try to come up with, you know, your own little variation if you want. And have fun with it. It's a pretty cool trick. And there's different ways you can handle it, like I showed you. Alright? And that is my first trick, and I have another one coming up, so I'll see you next time.